Hey guys, welcome back. Steve, Owl Metal Driven, owlmetaldriven.com. As you see right there somewhere. Um, I appreciate all you guys. And I know I've noticed a lot of guys, 81% of my viewers are not subscribers. Come on guys, hook a brother up, subscribe. I'd like to think a little bit of the information's good. I'm just kidding. But we're at a one-story house today. This house, I actually was here um, two years ago in April. Today is April the 2nd. I was here April the 21st of 22. They had flex run, flex hose run into the crawl and out. So, of course, we replaced it with metal. So this is going to be a good determiner, especially for this family, two years after I changed out the ductwork and see the condition of it. So, right now the dryer's running. Let's walk around outside, find where it goes. Okay, walking around, doodly doo, doodly doo. Uh oh, that means it's gonna be under here. Urgh. Okay. Oh, and I see it. I don't know if you guys can. Let me zoom in on that puppy. Maybe the dryer cut off. I want to go check that, but those the flaps aren't moving whatsoever. So let's get set up. Let's knock this out, guys. We'll be back. All right, and the dryer had stopped running, so that's good. But you can see behind metal duct work running to a small bit of flex, which is okay, which is fine. So we're gonna turn the dryer back on, go outside and get ready to play. All right, so as you can see, the dryer had cut off, which is good. But, so again, we're talking about two years. thing left to do <clears throat> all right now to clean it out let's clean out a dryer vent <clears throat> Now again, this one's only about seven to nine feet long. Short vent. Okay, so right there, that's the elbow. It's going horizontal. I'm at the elbow now that kicks it vertical to go into the laundry room itself. No, I was wrong. I'm not to the vertical. So as y'all see, there was more that came out at the end, toward the end of the duct versus where we're getting closer to the dryer itself. That's a good sign. That means that dryer is still pushing hard enough and it's pushing the majority of this lint through the duct and to the end of the, to the end of the run. But when you had that one that was stuffed shut, that's why a lot of it gathered on the bottom.
love a good brush. Oh man, I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, well, let's, uh, I guess let's go ahead and do the top side. You know, I'm gonna pull the machine out, um, disconnect the flex and make sure we have good connection back there. But with this amount of airflow, we're doing pretty good. We'll be back. So not much to this one, guys. Let me pull this machine. That's taped on. There's no need for me to undo that when I can just stick the old hand down there. All right, now I've got to connect this thing and then try to climb out. <laughs> If you have to have to climb over the machines, guys, the sides, you run right on the corners. That's the strongest part. Okay. Don't I have to say this, don't step in the middle of the machines. Step on the exterior. And when you're pushing the machine back, make sure that the pigtail, the cord, doesn't interfere with the vent. Let's see if you can see. Got a good transition. The pigtail is tucked behind the washer. Everything looks good. All right. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's great airflow. So, like normal guys, just like when I took them off, I'm just cleaning these guys off. Make sure there's no lint in the little holes that receive the nipples on the louver. I know, I said nipples. Uh-oh, Facebook's going, or YouTube's going to kick me off now. Oh, man. All right, make a U. They pop right back in these holes. Bam, bam, bam. but not least, numero tres. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> That's how they should be. And one more thing, guys. Clean up after yourself. It, it, it's a it's one of the reasons why you know i'm back here at this same home and a lot of this stuff guys i'm underneath the deck so it and the ground is wet i mean there's only so much of it that i can actually get up uh but try your hardest clean up after yourself all right guys another successful one there's lessons to be in this one too especially for this homeowner but there was a lot more in there than I expected, especially with, you know, and an, an, not an elderly by any stretch, but an older um, family that, you know, doesn't have four or five, six kids in. Um, so remember, guys, if you have watched thus far, thank you so much. And please subscribe. Help a brother out. Steve, Al Metal Dryer Event, almetaldryervent.com. Please check out my Periscope. I've actually gotten a couple new orders last night from people that have seen the videos uh, on YouTube. And that's why I started this channel to begin with. I never expected the amount of love that I've received. Never, ever expected that. However, it's all greatly appreciated. We'll see you on the next one.